Round one of Dyne 2080 Ti investigation involves several monitors. We've had more in here and a stack of video cards. We have an update on the first round of dead, in quotes, RTX 2080 Ti's. The reason that's in quotes is because some of them are legitimately experiencing some kind of hardware level issue. And then some are BSODs, software issues, CTDs, crash of desktop, things like that. So this is the first half or so of the cards that we, actually not even that, uh, that we have coming in. These are the ones that got in today. Ran some validation on a few of them already. Some have definite either BIOS or hardware level issues. Talk about those separately. And then some that are just BSODs, really bad ones though, we've been able to reproduce, but it's very difficult to do so. So we're gonna be talking about specifically the NVIDIA BSOD issue, the blue screen of death on the 20 series cards for today. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermal Grizzly and their high-end thermal compounds. Thermal Grizzly makes cryonaut paste for high thermal performance and conductivity without being electrically conductive, so you don't have to worry about shorting components. Cryonaut is particularly good for replacing stock GPU pastes as cryonaut is a non-curing compound. Learn more at the link in the description below. So this one is really pretty simple. The blue screen of death, if you're not seeing artifacting, you're not seeing frequency locks, like the 1300 megahertz, which we do see on one card, and all you're seeing is a blue screen of death that happens seemingly sporadically, it happens almost definitely when you play games, maybe within the first hour. Uh, it is typically associated with high refresh monitors or with G-Sync. This one we've been able to reproduce like once or twice, and that's kind of it. It's really difficult to recreate the issue uh, without everyone's exact hardware configuration. But in reproducing the issue a couple of times and talking with people who have experienced the issue on the cards they've sent in, we've collected enough data to more or less pinpoint this one. So the blue screen of death, the main one you're likely seeing is IRQ not less or equal. And if that's the one you're seeing, that seems to be associated with displays. And so we were able to reproduce this issue once in Shadow of the Tomb Raider with a G-Sync display, specifically, at 60 hertz. So it's not high refresh, but it is G-Sync. And it's an older G-Sync display. We were not able to get that issue to occur on our 144 hertz free sync monitor with obviously adaptive sync not doing anything. And we're not able to get it working on our 100 hertz G-Sync monitor. So, or not working in this instance, where the BSOD was only happening to us with that specific display. So, in talking with other people who have high refresh displays, uh, that is exactly the issue they're seeing, where it's IRQ, not less or equal, with a high refresh display, often with G-Sync enabled. So if you have high refresh and you have G-Sync, that might be the issue. It might be display dependent. You can validate this by getting another display that you might have in your house already, connect it, and see if, you, if the issue goes away. And if it doesn't, I'm not sure if lowering the refresh and disabling G-Sync will fix it, but one of the users who sent in a card did report that that helped them with their problem. So, uh, keep that in mind. NVIDIA is aware of this issue. We actually managed to get an NVIDIA driver update from one of the customers who's going through the RMA process. And they were talking to support who provided them with a, uh, an NVIDIA driver update. And also one of the other users who, with a different board got the NVIDIA driver update. And so from one of those two people, we got the new NVIDIA driver. And what that does is it should fix a number of issues, and one of them, I believe, from what we've been told, is supposed to be that IRQ not less or equal. Uh, because we have so much difficulty reproducing that BSOD in general, because we don't have the exact displays causing the issues, it's hard to validate. Because like I said, we've seen it once or twice. We saw it, actually, I remembered back in our review of the 2080 and the 2080 Ti, we did see a BSOD also once or twice on the same 60 hertz G-Sync display, but the problem there was when you're reviewing a product, there's so many things that could be wrong. I mean, it could be the OS, it could be the CPU, it could be an overclock issue, it could be a uh, software level, it could be a driver, and without the ability to consistently get it to happen, we can't pinpoint anything and call it an NVIDIA fault. So we moved on because it didn't happen anymore. But this is actually the exact same issue that you all are seeing. So apparently it was a much greater deal than we knew it was at the time. But NVIDIA's got a driver update that's supposed to fix a lot of that. And our understanding from NVIDIA uh, directly is that it's supposed to come out this week. So we confirmed that with them, uh, likely from what others, uh, from, from the fact that the customers are getting the driver already, that should be true. So if you're having a BSOD issue, wait for the driver that might fix it. There are definitely other problems, like there are hardware level issues. Some people have different BSODs. We got a 
a really specific CTD that's been consistent. It's 100% reproducible, and I'm going to read you what that message is. So 100% reproducible, specifically on a one on a secondary monitor. So multi-monitor is another problem with these 20 series cards. If you're running multi-monitor, that might be part of your issue. Try disconnecting one of them. Uh, so specifically and only when we run multi-monitor with the 144 hertz, no any sync, no G-Sync display, uh, we are getting this error in some games, like GTA 5 specifically. It's ERR -E underscore GFX underscore D3D underscore in, in INIT. So error graphics, direct 3D initialization. Failed initialization, please reboot and restart the game. Try reinstalling the game if this persists. And if anyone actually did that, I'm so sorry because that's not going to help. Yeah, that's, that's a completely separate issue. That's a multi-monitor issue. We can reproduce that 100% of the time with a multi-monitor configuration with any 20 series card, like all of them. So, uh, and the BSOD is also not limited to specific cards. It's also all of them. It is a display dependent issue and potentially sometimes game dependent, given that we can most reliably reproduce it in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But when that game came out, it was so new that, again, we just assumed it was probably a game level issue. Uh, apparently, that was not the case, though, because a lot of you are seeing this happen in things like Dishonored, for example. So that's what we got for you for now. Uh, we are also working on hardware level issues. The artifacting is the big one. Uh, clocks being locked to like 1300 megahertz or in some cases even lower is another big one. So we're working on diagnosing those, trying to see if there's a hardware difference, uh, see if the serial numbers are in a certain batch, or anything like that. Stay tuned for that. We're working hard on it. We have a lot more cards coming in. If you have already sent one in, thank you. We'll get it back to you soon. Uh, if you are sending one in, please continue to go through and send it in. Uh, if you are seeing any kind of artifacting, any kind of clock issues, frequency, uh, fan issues, anything that's potentially hardware level, send it along to us. You can email us at dead2080ti at gamersnexus.net. And we're getting a lot of emails there. So I'm going to try and respond to all of them. And um, please only email if you actually have one you want to send in, uh, or if you have a serial number for a card that is working or no not working. If you can't send it in, but you can send a serial number and tell us if it's good or not, that would also help narrow down the range. Uh, and also describe the issue you're seeing if you're seeing one. So we'll have updates for you soon, but the first major issue, the BSODs, are very widespread because it's all cards. It's just display and maybe game dependent sometimes. NVIDIA's got a driver update for that. So that's, that's, the, that's the news for you. Keep an eye out on NVIDIA's website this week, and hopefully you'll see a fix for your problems. If not, keep us posted. That's all for this one. Subscribe for more. As always, go to store.gamersnexus.net if you want to support this type of content specifically. It's a lot of extra and different work for us. You can grab this shirt while it's still there. I think we have maybe like two dozen left or something. So grab it from the store if you want to pick it up. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you all next time.